Good day grade 11s, welcome to this fourth lesson in week 8. We're still looking at atomic combinations and molecular structure. In this lesson we're going to just, it's a very brief lesson and we're going to be looking at coordinate or dative covalent bonds. Okay, so these are either called coordinate covalent bonds or dative covalent bonds, either way it's the same thing. But what is this? The definition states that this is a type of bond it's covalent bonding, but what's special is that both electrons that are shared in the bond come from the same atom. Both electrons shared in the bond come from the same atom. So instead of having one electron from the one atom or two electrons and two electrons from the other atom, we now have both electrons shared in the bond come from the same atom. So let's look at an example. When hydrogen plus ions join onto a molecule and share a lone pair of electrons, we call this a coordinate covalent bond or a dative covalent bond. So an example is when you have a hydrogen plus ion and it joins onto a water molecule, okay, then what happens you get a hydronium ion or exonium ion. So what happens is if you look over here, you've got a water molecule and do you see that there is a lone pair over here and there is a lone pair over here. And then what happens is there might be a hydrogen plus ion. So hydrogen plus ion means it's a hydrogen atom that's lost an electron, okay? So it's only got its proton. So it doesn't have an electron to share. So what it does is it temporarily, very temporarily, joins onto the water molecule and it shares this there, that pair of electrons, okay, and it shares that, but both of those electrons are coming from the water molecule, okay, and it's called the hydronium ion in this case, or the oxonium ion, and this is a very temporary state, and it's also therefore very reactive. Let's look at another example. Another example is if we have ammonium. Ammonium is formed when we have ammonia, which is actually NH3, right, NH3, and what happens is we have a hydrogen plus ion again, a hydrogen plus ion. And if you look at the structure, as you look at the Lewis diagrams, you can see that he has a shared pair of electrons between the nitrogen and hydrogen. He has a shared pair of electrons and he has a shared pair of electrons. And here is a lone pair of unshared electrons. And this hydrogen, again, doesn't have any electrons of its own. So what happens is it goes along and it kind of just shares this lone pair, it's a very temporary measure again, with the nitrogen, so now it becomes shared. The whole of the ammonia becomes positively charged, obviously, because now it has got an extra hydrogen plus ion on it, okay, and this changes from ammonia, ammonia, to ammonium. So that's pretty easy, okay? So really, it's a very fancy name, date of, date of covalent bonding or coordinate covalent bonding, but all it is is when you've got a positive ion, it doesn't have any of its own electrons, and it kind of shares, or doesn't kind of, it does, it shares one of the lone pair of electrons from the other molecule or atom to become a date of covalent bond or a coordinate covalent bond, and it's a very temporary bonding which makes these things obviously very reactive. And that is all there is to that. Have a great day.